All right, coming up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. One of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with a beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts, Bruce Lee, is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this featherweight tilt. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with the same height and some differences in reach. All right, now for the introductions, we go to Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levine. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 139 pounds. Fred time! And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon! Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your This is a phenomenal arena. This is a fantastic fight environment. New York City, baby, the city of dreams. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Jab, snaps the head back, that'll get his attention. Oh, that right hand is on point. Let's go, hurt his body. And misses with the right hand. Oh, 
And he landed the right hand there. Oh, that's a good right hand. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Good stick. Lands a nice straight punch there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a great punch like this with? I'm excited to see what happens. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. Flips the guard, lands the right hand. Three minutes to go. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. Lee gets the tie clinch here. Just missing on the high kick there. Big Paul punch lands. Now we get back to range. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? Just missed with that right hand. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Well placed kick there by Lee. And that left hook landed on the button. Now connects with the right. Establish that jab. Oh, straight right. Lee going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Right hand landed. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. 20 seconds to go in round one. Whiffs on that off -way. Yep, not a ton behind it, but it landed. Good punch land. He loaded up there on that high kick. All right, let's get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. I don't care how strong your core is, you can't take too many more of those body kicks. John, you can't train for that. I mean, you cannot train to take those types of body kicks. They start to really wear at your gas tank, and then you start to make mistakes. When you take that many body kicks, you start making mistakes, and before you know it, the fight's over. All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those strikes to the body. You've got to think at some point the opposition is going to lower that guard or get finished. And that's exactly what he is hoping for. All those great body shots, all that damage he's putting on his opponent will force an opening up top where he will look to finish. Big punch land. Ooh. Ooh, head kick. 
kick lands and he's hurt. So he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish the fight. Straight punch land. He's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. Just out of range with that right hand. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. as this fight goes into the latter rounds. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Don't finish this fight. Oh, he might be out. What a punch. Swing and a miss by Lee. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Wind it up on the right there to Noah Bay. My goodness! Oh, big left! Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Oh, that's a beautiful left hand counter. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Kick that at least partially landed. Oh my goodness, he got kicked in the head and he's still standing. That punch, no good. seconds left to go in round two. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. That's a big strike right there. Tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out.
Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Just misses with the right hook. Throws the right hand there. Let's get busy with those hands now, man. Come on. Let's... He's looking to land the right just out of range. Oh, a huge block there. That chin. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. Back and forth we go. Right punches there. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Three minutes remain in the round. Oh, how clean is that jab by Lee? Inside leg kick. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Oh, he heard it bad with a jab. Plus right hand is true. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish. Oh! Oh, no! Oh, big left hook there! here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. The right hand just misses. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Ooh, what a punch. The combination lands and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. There. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Lee's kick to the body is blocked. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Connects with a right. Trying to establish that jab once again. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Keep your hands up. Use your 20 seconds to go. Wow, what a kick! Seconds winding down in round three. Effective punch there by Lee. What a fight so far. Take a deep breath and relax. Watch him look at the face this way. Look at the 
the pressure on this guy. All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it, he landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Right punch is good. The left also flush. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Lands a knee there. Nice deception there to get that knee to the target. Really good knee. Nice job of driving it right to the target, getting it to land exactly where you want it to. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. It's nice inside leg kick there. Circling towards the left now. Ooh, big shot land. Pinpoint knee to the body. If you're trying to knock me out, you one knee to the body, I'm done. Every time his opponent tries to get close, he just drives that knee to the body. Great timing. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Able to check that kick as well. lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball who becomes twice his size. This guy today is looking at focus fits in his opponent. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. There. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Misses with the left hook. Oh, that's a good strike there by Lee. Oh, nice, nice. Clip with the right hand. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Just misses with the left hook. Able to check the high kick. Great punch. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. Pretty good right hand. Single collar tie. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Under two minutes to go in the round. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Nice punch land over the top. Just unable to quite find that range. Slips. Oh, Superman punches good. You can tell he's been working on that. Well, one got through. That kick was blocked. Nice punch there. Big head kick land. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. Oh, tags him again with a flush left hand. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. 
30 seconds now to go in the round. Nice head kick. He's got to go chase that finish down now. All right, there's the clapper. Ten seconds to go. And they separate. What a fight so far. Great job last night. Had him hurt. Almost finished. Look at him on the stool. He's still wobbling. This round. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. You ready? You ready? Fifth and final round. What a punch. Nice leg kick there by Lee. Big body kick. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Cable inches right there, boy. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, nice right hand, John. Nice. Back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. Big head kick lands. Nice loop and punch. Well, the body work's starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Caught that kick there. Lands with the right hand. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch landed. Look at the force behind that leg kick. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence, and when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah, no more risk management. Either get knocked out or you knock him out. One way or the other, you're going to lose. You can lose by decision or you can lose by knockout. But at least when you go for the knockout, Whoa! Dude, serve, serve him up. Go get him. Oh! Throwing that jab, no good. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Beautiful strike. Lee gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Man, look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body. Lands the right hand. Can't take many of those, you better check. Single collar tie now. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Lee gets caught with that push. Liver kick. Oh, a hook to the head by Lee. Oh! 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 One minute to go in the fight. 
Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Back to the feet. Lee going for the leg kick. He does not connect. That was lucky. Nice strike. Oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. Looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Trying to go to the oh! and just like that, the fight is over. He got him. You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. So there he is after a monumental knockout turned in here tonight. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop in this contest at four minutes, 36 seconds of round number five. Playing the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, but also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.